Hey guys, it's Morgan coming back to you with another fork seal video. It's been a while since we've done a specific fork seal video uh, because I haven't been doing a ton of fork seals that aren't ones that I've already done videos of. Uh, lots of KTMs, lots of Yamahas, and you guys have seen all that. But today we are doing forks on a Kawasaki KLX 230 is over there. Uh, these are actually kind of cool because they're just simple damper rod forks. Um, I have done a couple other damper rod fork seal videos, not a lot. Um, but this is a popular bike and I figure you guys might want to know how to do fork seals. So let's dive in. We got the forks off. I'm not going to show you that. I figure you guys can probably figure that out if you're going to go deep enough to do fork seals. I desperately hope you know how to get the forks off the bike. <laughs> so um, maybe someone else has another video of how to just take the forks off. Anyway, got the forks off. We got this one chalked up in the soft jaws. There we go. Now we're gonna grab a socket that's this size. I believe that's a 19. Nope, it's a 17. And a ratchet. And when you're pinching on these things, guys, let me show you something. Um, so you don't wanna pinch on the chrome part where this slides, because you even with the soft jaws, you could damage it. You don't wanna make take that chance. So you wanna come up here, but you don't wanna pinch up here because that will pinch where the um, the bolt is. So somewhere down in here, in between the triple clamps is a good place. Just gonna tighten that down a little bit. There we go. Now, this is probably under spring pressure, so you gotta go kinda easy, keep a hand on it. Not too much, not too much spring pressure. There we go. Just gonna take the cap off, set it out of the way. Take our spring out. Hang on. Oil is wanting to come out, so take this, tilt it up. Set this in our tray. Then we're gonna turn it over, pump it up and down, dump as much oil as we can out. I'm going to leave this thing upside down for a while, try to get as much oil out of there as possible before I break the bottom loose. Sometimes when you do that and you take it apart, oil goes where you don't want it. So I'm going to let this sit upside down and we'll be right back. All right, got it drained out. Now we just got this little Allen here. Guys, when you take this out, there's always going to be a crush washer. If there's not, you need to put one on it. Um, but generally, there will always be a crush washer there. And so make sure you don't lose it. Because what happens, the reason there might not be one on there is if someone did your forks before you and they took it off, they did things, moved it around, whatever, and it fell out and they lost it, um, that would be the only reason it wouldn't be there. So make sure you get that crush washer. Tip this down here, make sure everything comes out. Should be good. Now we're gonna take a flat blade. I'm gonna get the dust seal out. And down in here, we got a circlip. Use our flat blade to get in here. Now we should be able to slide hammer. Boom. There we go. And this is the damper rod. So we're going to flip it over. Take that out so we can get everything nice and clean. And here we go. Now we got our bushings. So we got our inner bushing, outer bushing, washer, and seal. So it's basically just like a modern uh, inverted fork just flipped over the other way the big difference though is with the damping this is how this fork does its damping it's got holes up here it's got a little hole down in here and then this piston moves through the oil and it pushes it out here to go by and that's what controls how fast it moves in and out so it's very very crude very simple um, but actually it works just fine for a bike like a KLX 230 when you're not really riding that bike uh, hard. It's not a race bike. It's not a 
high performance bike. So actually these things work really good and there's not a lot to go wrong. So I like that a lot. Uh, so now I'm gonna take all this over to the uh, parts washer, get it cleaned up and we'll be back. All right guys, got everything cleaned up, looking good. Now the nice thing about uh, these old style um, forks is it's really easy to work on them. It's super easy. So take our outer bushing, put our inner bushing on. Then we can just take our washer just like that. We take our oil seal and we're going to put this on with the ribs facing down like because this this would be down, right? So we're going to have that down so it holds the oil from going out. Um, I'm not going to get a bullet because you can just go over the top like that. And then got our circlip, got our dust seal. All right, now guys, here's this is a little bit funky part of putting these together. You're going to take your damper rod. You're going to drop it in, just down like that, get it to come out. And there's this cup that's in the bottom and it goes over the end of the damper rod. And do that and it'll, it'll stay there if you just kind of hold it to the side. Then we're going to take the whole rig, come in, let that drop down, take our bolt, start it by hand. Make sure it threads in, it does nicely. All right, so it's not tightening by hand. Don't worry, we'll get it with an impact. But right now it's tight enough that it won't, the whole thing won't come apart. So now this is where it's gonna get interesting. So I don't actually have a fork seal driver this size. All right, so let me show you what I use when I don't have the tool. I'm probably gonna order one because I don't see us doing a ton of fork seals on these things, but it'd be good to have the right tool. But these are little Allen sockets I have that are Cornwell. But if you look at these, they're real rounded and soft. That's good. We we'll start with the big one and we're gonna come up here and we're gonna put this down in here so that we can drive the bushing in. I'm just going to kind of go around it nice and easy until it seats all the way down in. And you'll feel it. Here's a little bit smaller one. You'll hear it. The sound changes. There we go. I cannot wait for some of your guys' comments about this. I can't believe a professional shop. Trust me, I'm not gonna hurt anything and these are not gonna leak. So now we put our fork seal down in there and try to get it in there as far as you can with your hand. And then again, we're gonna use a nice soft guy and we're just gonna very lightly tap. I'm gonna actually take this clip off, keep it out of the way. Just nice and easy. And you're tapping on the outside of the seal. On the hard edge that you would be normally hammering on with a seal driver. And there we go. All the way seated just like you want it to. Put that in there, make sure our clip finds it home, which it does. Then we're gonna, there we go. Dust seal in. Uh, now, now we're gonna hit this with the impact and it should tighten up. There we go. All right, now it is time to put oil in it. All right guys, so the fork oil spec on this is a height. Uh, we're looking for 97 millimeters, give or take. So about 100 millimeters from the top with it fully compressed and no spring in it. So we're going to take some five weight, pour it in here. Mm -hmm. While you're doing this, you want to pump it up and down. Get it to where it moves nice and smooth. 
the whole way down no like at the end um, nice and smooth just like that all right we got our level tool Set that at 100 millimeters. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drop it down in here, and then when we pull the trigger, it's gonna suck it out. There we go. Now, super simple. Put our spring back in. There we go. Always take them, push on them, make sure they're good. Nothing hanging up in there. Thanks for joining me for that video, guys. Hope that helped. Uh, leave a comment below if that helped you get your fork seals done on your KLX 230 or any other bike. Uh, this is very different from modern uh, race bikes, but it's very similar to a trillion old school bikes with damper rod style forks um from the 60s well, probably the 50s forward i don't know all the way up until they started flipping forks upside down so um yeah pretty simple uh great thing to do every now and then guys keep the forks fresh keep things moving smoothly it'll just help your bike work better thanks a lot we'll see you guys on the next one